Welcome to Dueling Wood Gas Stoves, another video in the Wood Gas Stove Science Series. In this video, I attempt to see if a wood gas stove is truly a downdraft stove or not. This picture shows the way that wood gas stoves are commonly thought to work. The light green arrow is representing the wood gas as it flows down through the wood, and then it shows the wood gas coming out the primary air ports going up the sides of the can being heated and then back out the secondary port. Here I am using the Vortex 5.4 stove which is the orange one and a hybrid of the version 5.4 Vortex stove. You'll notice as I assemble this that the outer can is much shorter and it actually leaves the primary air ports visible. I am using a shorter outer can to separate the primary air and the secondary air. In this picture you can see that the wood gas stays above the fuel. Fresh air comes in through the primary air and fresh air comes in through the secondary air ports after traveling along the inside of the outer can where it is superheated before burning. I'll be burning these two stoves side by side so we can tell whether the original Vortex 5.4 or the hybrid version 5.4 is the best burn and to see whether we're actually getting a downdraft or a standard updraft. The fuel that I used was a measured one cup of wood pellets and I used a one tablespoon of heat from the yellow bottle to get things started. At about three to four minutes you could actually see that the hybrid stove is starting to gasify and the standard Vortex 5.4 is getting ready to gasify uh, but it seems to be a little bit behind right from the beginning. If these stoves are downdraft stoves and the wood gas is being pulled down through the fuel mixing with the fresh air and going up to the inside of the outer can and out the secondary ports we should definitely see some smoke coming out the bottom of the hybrid stove and the burn should be much better in the original Vortex 5.4 at about six minutes the burn in the hybrid stove appears to be much stronger and the flames are higher this is not what I was expecting. I was really expecting the Vortex 5.4 to be outperforming this stove at this time. At no time throughout the burn did I see any smoke coming out the bottom of the hybrid stove. And as you can see, the burn seems to be much stronger and more powerful than the Vortex 5.4. The Vortex 5.4 stove is a very well designed and very good burning stove, but I can see from this video that this new hybrid stove seems to be putting out a more powerful flame. So at this point I decided I wanted to do a temperature test. Um, and after putting on the pot stand, the flame stabilized very nicely and it quickly went up to 1512 degrees Fahrenheit which is a pretty good heat range and after putting it on the Vortex 5.4 I was able to get up to about 1485 degrees Fahrenheit which is slightly less than I have measured on that Vortex stove in the past I generally can get it up over 1500 degrees the flame quality for both stoves were very good but the flame height was definitely higher on the hybrid. At about 25 minutes the hybrid started to burn down uh, and by touching the sides of the can the hybrid definitely was hotter on the outside of the can. Even throughout the burn down the jets coming out of the hybrid stove were still very strong and at around 29 minutes the burn down was very uh, progressed and at 31 minutes the hybrid stove went out and it smoked for about one minute afterwards uh, and as you can see and at 32 minutes the Vortex 5.4 stove 
is definitely in the process of burning out. Uh, you can also notice that the hybrid stove is producing a very bright glow underneath. Um, and here at 35 minutes as the Vortex 5.4 stove goes out, you can definitely see there's no smoke. Uh, so if I am going to pursue the new hybrid stove, I'll definitely have to work on some of the air intakes to stop that smoke from happening. You can tell by what just happened that the hybrid stove had a lot of heat coming out of the bottom and it broke my very nice tile backdrop that you've seen for about five or six videos. After performing this experiment and watching this video, it is sort of becoming obvious to me that this type of stove is not really a downdraft stove, but an updraft stove where the wood gas is coming off the fuel and up and the air coming in through the outer can is being superheated and when it comes out the secondary airport it causes the very bright plumes of flame. Thanks for watching dueling wood gas stoves and uh, please comment. I look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye.